what it is. So, some of you might know and some of you might not know. Uh, the last 17 days, uh, me and my family, we went on a massive uh, trip around Australia. Uh, essentially, where we went to all the five different states. And we covered 13,000, I think, 136 kilometers. And, um, yeah, there was quite a lot of things that we learned, especially from just that one trip. And um, I was just going to lay it down for you because it was so intense and very uh, adrenaline filled in as much as we learned a lot. We shared a lot of memories and we really, really got to grow together as husband and wife and also as a family. So if it's anything that you're ever going to try and do. I would highly recommend it, but I would suggest and strongly suggest that you just go in there, give it all you got. Um, <clears throat> the reason being, it's something you only do once, and once you've done it, I don't think you'd want to do it ever again, okay? So, there's so many benefits that um, you can get from, you know, traveling and stretching your mind like that. First of all, you meet different people, you try different foods, you experience different environments or cultures and you see new sites. OK, so traveling actually does give you all those experiences and perspectives that cuts short into your learning. Maybe something you would have learned in five years, you learn it and uh, in, in an hour because you, you have to become the person you have to grow into that person that's you know quick thinker you think on your feet because everything is about survival you know if you don't do it then then that means you know your your, your family's at risk I had a two year old on board and also my wife was worried you know we're driving in the outback and essentially what that was um, was every maybe 20 meters that we're driving, there's a car that's parked on the side of the road. It's either burnt or it's broken. That means it's somebody who hasn't finished their journey. And it's just all that around you. You really have to be strong-minded for you to be able to, um, you know, come through that whole trip. So, yeah, we crossed the Nullarbor. Um, we were very lucky because the car we've got is a 70 liter fuel tank. So essentially what that did was it helped us cross through all those parts. It wasn't easy. I don't want to lie. Um, it's a, it, it was very stressful more than a holiday, but I think it needed to be done. First of all, it was a big pattern break for both me and my wife. We were so out of our comfort zone. We were so out of touch with reality no connection in some parts of the the, the country uh, you would go for 100 kilometers you haven't seen any human you haven't seen uh, any fuel station you haven't seen even any animals all right so that just means it's just you yourself and the people you're around with you and what that got me thinking was you really gotta love the person you're with you really got to love the person you're with. Because can you imagine if me and my wife were stuck in there and we were just getting by? That would have proved to both of us that we were not really meant for each other. But we were. She, I would hold her. We would cry. And there's times when we would just have to stop. Yes, Christy. Uh, what a great journey and adventure. Great work trusting in. Yes, exactly. Um. It's, it's one of those moments where you go all in, okay? It's not about, oh, maybe she's going to pick up the bread or you're thinking, no, you have to do whatever has to be done there and there. And the decision that you make either affects how the other person is going to think it then affects the other person's thoughts, process, and way they deal with everything. So you really got to know what it is that you're going in for. So... My biggest advice is if you're going to go in a relationship, I mean, this is going to be touching every touch point. If you're going to go in a relationship with either business, your spouse, or go on a trip like that, make sure you're going in with people that you really, really trust and people that you really, really care about. Okay? 
because I learned that if you can just go into life with people in a relationship that doesn't mean anything or can be dissolved by just a small fight, then a trip like that is one of those things that would actually put it out in the open that you guys are not meant together, okay? My wife would go on for hours and hours and she couldn't use the bush as the bathroom. I could just jump out and then, you know, uh, go behind the bush, but I had to compensate with her and, and, and feel for her that, you know, this wasn't happening. So it takes a different mindset to go all out on a trip like that, okay? So as compared to a lot of things in life, it has to be the right kind of person, the right kind of company, with the right kind of mindset and the same goals, and you can't do it with people, and you can't just live life with people that are not in the same uh, mindset as you, okay? So there's quite a lot of benefits that I got from this travel. We met a lot of new people that we're gonna continue relationships with, uh, some of them are people that we have known before, but we just met them along the way, which I really, really value. We tried a lot of different new foods, and the fact that we were actually out of our comfort zone, we would eat stuff that had been sitting in the car for days. You know why? Because that's all we had. And it's not a matter of choosing, but we dealt and had food that was enough, but sometimes some food would go bad and then we'd have to share. So like I keep saying, you have to deal and work with people that you know, like, and trust, and you know that these people have got your back no matter what. Because if you're going to go into hard struggles or hard times, some people are not going to go along with you, okay? So that's one thing that I really learned. And perhaps the biggest impact trouble has had is it broadens up your mind. Because you have to think on the spot. You have to make decisions. Either take that road or not take that road. And and actually, I don't know how to say this, but then own your decisions. Okay? So when you actually own that decision, you are putting yourself in a position where you, you're making that decision. You're committing to that decision and you're going for it. Okay? We were overtaking 50 meter long trucks. Okay? What that meant was you are on the other side of the road, you're doing 130 Ks. If you do a slight mistake on a really thin strip of road like this, where that puts you is either all the way down and you perish, your whole family was with me. So it was a decision that I had to make. Either do we wanna go slow and spend 15 hours on the road or do we want to risk it and overtake this car? So a lot of decision making was done. It's, it might sound like, yeah, it's easy. You go on the freeway and you, you cross. The roads are this tiny. And on the, on the edge or on the side, there's like dirt. And the dirt is, is not really made up correctly. So if your car, even if you're on a four-wheeler, if it's hitting the, 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 the butcherman tr uh, track, and the tar there, it gives you a whole wobbly effect, and you gotta control the car. You're going at 130, um, you know, kilometers an hour. You've got your wife sitting on the side. You've got your daughter singing Christmas or, um, uh, you know, lullabies or whatever. And then you just bite your bottom lip, and then you go for it. Okay, it made me into such a different person than I am right now. I mean, I'm from Africa. I was born there, but going in the outback is a whole different game ball, okay? So what that then did for me is I just did not start the year. I went in with a totally different pattern break, okay? Right now, I know nothing can come my way and change, you know, or take what I've experienced away from me. And nothing can come in and I cannot be able to... to um, you know, face it, you know? Have you ever sort of watched a little kid and, you know, you've just thought, wow, even I can imagine what it would be like, you know, to just have a simple life where you just go, yeah? The older we get, the more experiences we go through and the more complicated life actually becomes, all right? So you need to get perspective from other cultures, other areas, and how other people are doing stuff and how other people are living, you'll be surprised. Okay, I'm from Africa and every time people are always telling me, go back where you came from. 
But after driving thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of kilometers away, that land has no one living there, no one doing anything there. I actually feel that people have a very small mindset and a way of thinking. Because if they could take up all that land and utilize it for farming or make it, uh, um, you know, cities out of all that land that no one is using, we wouldn't be fighting for all this crap, small, flooded and, you know, polluted pieces of area that we're living in. I'm not saying it's bad, but there's a whole vast amount of un, you know, discovered land that's out there that people haven't even known exists okay so what that tells me as a business person or as an entrepreneur or as a person that we might be fighting for the small amount of clients that we have coming in our uh you know funnels or whatever but there's a whole world out there of undiscovered people that haven't gotten in touch with your work people that haven't gotten in touch with what you've got to offer you just gotta put yourself out there okay keep expanding and making sure that if you do have a message or if you do have something that you want to put out there trust me the people that you're working with right now they are just a quarter of a fraction of what's out there okay everyone is fighting oh my god you've stolen my clients that's a very limiting mindset because the amount of people that we met on the way in the shopping centers, it's like <coughs> to us, we don't even exist. Go to Adelaide, go to Perth, go to, you know, Gold Coast, go to New South Wales. Everyone is leaving. Okay. Everyone is leaving and, and, and they don't even care about what's happening in other places. So we are just here maybe in Victoria or maybe we're in Perth or wherever and then you just cramping onto just the little that you have expand yourself there's a lot out there okay there's one thing that i also learned about this trip that time is an illusion we crossed three different time zones losing and gaining hours all right and the longest day that we had was 27 hours okay and on a normal day Eight hours gave us a thousand kilometers of drive. Now, if you are sitting in your office and then you say you've worked in eight hours and then think that during that eight hours where you were sitting, you really just didn't do anything, but somebody covered a thousand kilometers while they were in the car. That will give you a lot of, it, it's, it's hard to think of it in that way, but it made me feel like I wasn't really doing a lot. Paul, I'm so happy you're joining in. I'm not sure if this makes sense, but I'm just, you know, being grateful for my trip and what I went through. And definitely we need to build a bigger pie together because there is just so much out there and we're fighting for just the 1% when there's so much that we can actually put ourselves to. Okay. So, through the good experiences and the bad experiences, our minds are growing and then they're expanding. And that's why, you know, travel puts people in hyperdrive. The perspective that you might actually gain, say, in five years of just sitting there, right? You be gained in a two week trip in maybe a foreign place or two week or a two hour trip in the outback because you become something you've never been. All right. So right now we probably worry about a few problems here and there. We probably worry about things not really working out. There are some that really have it bad, some that have it really good. But if you're just sitting in your office and not seeing it, then you're not doing yourself a favor of educating yourself of what's possible. OK, so the, like I say, the perspective that you might gain while sitting on your chair in five years, you can gain it in two hours if you go out of your comfort zone because you, you, you start waking up into something else that you've never been, okay? So when you do leave your bubble and then you start seeing a different way of life and you start living in a different set of rules, a different definition of happiness happens within your life. A different definition of happiness comes about. 
we were so happy because our little girl was singing in the back. I was crying half the time on on, on the way because it was it was just so good. She's two, and she, she she couldn't speak when we left. But when we got onto the trip, she was singing for us, and we thought she didn't like it, but she did. For me, that was a newfound happiness that my little girl brought in because what my whole mission now was to look after her because that's all there is. She she was singing in the back and telling me somehow in her own way that daddy everything is okay and and i would just sit back look at her and say we're doing this for you it's it's a whole different level of fulfillment that you get when 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 you venture outside we wouldn't have gotten that if we were just sitting with her in the house no way she she grew with us and she grew I've fallen in love with her so much and my wife as well, she's a trooper, that girl. You see her just wave at her. I never thought we would go through the things that we did. And finally, the, that trip was just all we needed to solidify and really prove our love to each other. Yeah. And it's a hugely uh -huh. And reaching experience that I would not have gotten by just sitting in this office. I really wish that on everyone else that has an opportunity, take your loved ones out, experience different things together, and just enjoy each other. Because sitting at home, watching TV, eating McDonald's, it's not a fulfilling life, I tell you guys. I'm not saying this to impress you or to impress upon you. I'm just... I'm just coming in as proof positive that it is possible and you too can be, do and have and also enjoy what nature, what life has in store, what memories you haven't gone out there to take. Why would you stop yourself from enjoying what you were brought onto this earth to, to, to enjoy, you know? Culture is one of the most beautiful things that we have on this planet. You know, a lot of people are vibrant, you know, they're loyal, they're playful, they're rhythmatic, they're not sad. We met some Aborigine families that are just excited to be on earth, right? We spoke to them, they have a different story. It's not the everyday story that you're listening to somebody who's stuck in traffic, or a story that is a limiting belief as people that are living out there with virtually nothing, even Australian families, but they have a smile on their face. And there we are, we have it all. You're watching this from a very expensive device, but you're still not happy. I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people that are within my circle that are not happy. And that's the reason why I'm saying that. So when you see and you experience all these other cultures, it allows you to sort of step back. And then you think about your own culture, your own happiness, your own way of life. You know, our lives are not really set in stone, people. We're just transient beings who can change and adapt depending on your attitude. The more you take yourself out of the rat, the happier you become. He just cries for no reason. You know why? Because everything inside of you, everything around you is just perfect. Some people cannot even go to the shops and back without bumping into somebody else's car or making an accident. We travel 13,136 kilometers. No scratch, no bumps, nothing. That should tell you something. The universe is just out there to protect people that respond to it. You know, I was just afraid maybe something is going to happen and this will be the end. And this is my whole family in this car. Oh my God, what are we going to do? But we came back. We saw things that have now solidified us as a family. I'm collecting badges and, um, you know, you know, souvenirs so that I'm going to give my little girl on, the, on her 18th birthday. You know, those badges of all the places we've been to and the hats is now filled with stuff.
guys, it's we can do this. I, I don't want to lie. We did not spend that much money. And it was just the time that we spend with the family that means a lot. And it's memories that we're going to be talking about for the rest of our lives. Yeah? Look, 2017 is a year of change. Change of perspective, goals, mindset. Creating opportunities and make future for my children. Thanks. Bruh, you should. I went to where you grew up, man. You told me you 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 grew up in Coffs Harbour. We went to the big banana, bruh. Yeah? And, 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 and for me to report back to you and tell you that it's still the same, it's an honor for me, bruh. Okay? You, you got to really get yourself out of where you are and just know where you want to be. I'm, I'm not saying I have it all. I'm not saying I'm, I'm a guru or, or I, I'm a know-it-all. I'm just proof positive that you can be, do, and have whatever you want. I'm that kid that came in from Africa had a vision, but now I can report back and tell you what your country looks like. Maybe it's not important to you. Maybe you, it, doesn't, it doesn't really phase you, but you know what? Neither, neither would I care what you think. I'm just letting you know what's there, okay? <laughs> On the flip side, you know, it can also be true you may have many beliefs or maybe traditions that you value and those might become strengthened even more by learning about other people's way of lives, other people's beliefs. When you go out there and you see other kids thriving, when you go out there, you see life happening and it's not even stopping just because you got there or it's not going to stop because you're not there anymore. You then just know you're just a fecal a particle on the universe and what you just really got to do is take yourself up, swallow that ego and actually go out there and do some meaningful work and life because at the end of the day, you go out, you're learning new cultures, you learn new languages and it's not only a great skill, but there's just new things that make you realize that you are living in a universe with other beings, other people, and it makes you respect and value life a whole lot more, okay? We live in a beautiful place, people. I don't want to lie. We went to the beaches in Perth. We went to, um, I think it's called Rotten Nest Island, the most beautiful and picturesque place I've ever seen. Stuff that you see in a brochure. I was there. We went to Uluru and... and, and for all the things that I can say is this country is such a beautiful country. You don't have to go everywhere else, but it just gives you a greater appreciation for when you do come home. I missed wearing shirts. I missed shaving. You know, that I was lucky enough that I grew up in Africa, right? And even though I always knew it was a beautiful place, I never really took it for granted. And neither should you take where you live for granted, all right? So there's a lot of lessons that you learn along the way. Some make you actually grow into a totally different person. I've already started 2017 um, today, actually, on the business side of things. And I'm now thinking in a different way. I approach people in a different um, sort of way. I can create rapport with anyone in Australia right now, right this moment. You know why? Because it's not easy for me to talk about things that are happening in Adelaide because I've been there. It's easy for me to create rapport with somebody who is in Perth because I know a few places that are there. It's not, it's, 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 it's not going to be a hard sell for me anymore. So I'm really grateful that this has happened at this um, time in my life. Okay. So all I can just say is just go out there. And do like what the great Mark Twain say. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things that you did not do than by the things that you've done. Okay? So throw off all the ball lines. Swallow that pride. Sail away from the safe harbor. Catch the trade winds with your sail. Explore, dream, and discover. I really wish this upon you. And I wish 2017 will be your year.